Hey guys, Mike Builds back. After setting this sit all day in the sun, my 100 watt Harbor Freight solar panel, along with my Renogy Rover charge controller, we put in 22 amp hours into this battery. So it's about halfway charged, it's pretty good. Um, there's the voltages of the cells. It's really hard to see because it's snowing out here. So that's pretty damn good. But yeah, this little Harbor Freight panel kicks butt. Um, I would really recommend it. If I have any issues with it, I'll post another video and let you guys know. Also, I noticed uh, on my last video, some people were commenting about the battery. And uh, I just want to show off how... Ow! Hold on. Let's probably get comfortable first. Um, so look how well balanced this battery is. 4 millivolt deviation. And this thing doesn't have a BMS built in, which is reckless. But that's pretty damn good for a homemade battery. And this, act, this little tester is pretty accurate, so...